Richard Osman lamented to his one. 2 million Twitter followers, claiming there were just two daytime shows nominated in the BAFTA shortlist, leading him to question why the category existed at all. The former Pointless presenter ranted that talented producers had been robbed, in a stormy tweet published this afternoon. Daytime TV punches far above its weight in terms of ratings, cost and popularity, he began. To have only two daytime shows on this list is a bit of a kick in the teeth for producers. The 52-year-old TV star added, If I made Bridge of Lies, Booth, Homes Under the Hammer, Come Dine, With Me, Lingo etc. I think he'd feel robbed. Why bother having the category? He followed up a moment later, adding, Apologies for such a TV-centric tweet, but it can be such a snobbish industry sometimes. Richard had attached a nominee's list to his post, displaying pointless rival The Chase, The Repair Shop, A Royal Visit and Scam Interceptors. I love all three of those nominated shows, but The Brilliant Repair Shop was on at 8 p.m., he explained, implying that daytime TV was the wrong category for the show. At Carolering argued, with the greatest respect, there have been some episodes of the repair shop shown in daytime, including some new ones. He attached a listings guide with the relevant episodes highlighted in yellow. However, a dissatisfied Richard shot back, I do know that, honestly. But this nomination is for the Royal Special at 8 p.m. Another follower, at ghost underscore in underscore exile reason, it airs first in an afternoon slot, then is repeated later at 8 p.m. The tweeter added, I wouldn't mind seeing the comparative viewing figures. However, Richard hadn't finished yet, and returned to the post to counter, no, the episode on the list was a one-off special at 8 p.m. The original tweeter replied back, saying, I hang my head in shame. One of the other nominees, Scam Interceptors, has gripped the nation after Rob Wilding joined a quest to hack the hackers, in a bid to thwart would-be scam artists. Using technology to intercept the phone calls and computer systems of the scammers themselves, they outwit them while pretending to be their potential victims. The show, which busts illegal call centers for ethical reasons and arms the nation with the information they need to avoid being targeted themselves, has been airing at 10 a.m. on BBC One. Meanwhile, weekday show The Chase, which helps hone viewers quiz knowledge and critical thinking skills, hits ITV at 5 p.m. For his part, Richard Osman was on daytime TV show Pointless for 30 series, before deciding to bow out last year to commit more time to his career as a novelist. Though Richard is known as a mystery writer, the only mystery for him surrounding the BAFTAs is why more recognition has not been given to what he deems daytime shows. Express.co.uk has contacted BAFTA for comment.